Hey everyone, it's Meg. And Corball Star Screamer. And we are back with more Star Wars. Clone Wars. I was going to say Attack of the Clones. <laughs> <laughs> Attack of the Clones. Now we're going to rewatch it. <laughs> um, we are going to watch season one, episode 16, um, which is it's... the official Star Wars chronicle, chronological order. This is the, the order that the internet is telling us to watch these in. So mm -hmm. we're just trusting it. A lot along, of the internet. Along for the ride and ready to have questions that we can't answer. Yes. Yet. Um, but this is called The Hidden Enemy. So. And the description was like Anakin and Obi-Wan discover that there's a traitor in their midst. Yeah. So. Try not to read descriptions. We were just trying to figure out what to watch. Oh, well, I was reading the descriptions. Yeah. So. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This not is usually not something I try to do <laughs> because I'm trying to avoid spoilers and stuff. Right, 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 um, right, right. But we recently watched the other one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there will be any connection per se, but it was really fun and we enjoyed it. And so the clicky clacky admiral guy with the magic wand and he got blown up by Anakin. Exactly. Woo okay, well, let's watch. Truth enlightens the mind. But won't always bring happiness to your heart. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Hoping to save lives and prevent oh, further look destruction. At him! <laughs> Yoda. How are you doing over there? We're set. I've got some guys here that are anxious to get going. Glad to hear it. I just like how I said that. I've got some guys here. The show is about to begin. <laughs> Prepare all troops for. <laughs> oh. Nice. I love his parries. He's so good he's at... He's like my favorite parrier. <laughs> he's amazing at defense. Yes. Just... And it's like the reflect. Reflect. Oh, scary. That's what I do in cyberpunk with my katanas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool update. <laughs> South Tower. We're in the north. Not for long. Ooh. I love that. <laughs> He's That's so, so cool. Yeah. It reminds me of Batman, though. He always does his little Batman symbol when he's exploding something. Even it's in just the, game, the brand. When you do the sticky gel, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I hope we get to see all nine or ten times that Anakin apparently saves Obi-Wan. Mm. <laughs> How did you get over here? I improvised. <laughs> His armor is so awesome. The dark Just robes. The brand. Yeah. The aesthetic. Yeah. And then also Obi-Wan with the tan, khaki aesthetic. Ooh. Yeah. Nice, Django's. <laughs> <laughs> so those are clone troopers. Yeah. But they're <laughs> white. <his> <laughs> Maybe this tactical droid will tell us how they knew up. <laughs> okay, I'm dying at them, like just holding it like it's a subway. <laughs> like, hey. It's like Master Chief when he's just chilling with the rest of Exactly, the I was gonna say. People. And it's like Halo carrying the skull around. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we're not the only ones having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> you think someone infiltrated our defenses? Possibly. Traitor. It would have to be someone cunning and resourceful enough to gain access to all our plans. <sighs> Who would want to betray our troops to the Seppies? Excellent question, Commander. Seppies? Seppies. We need a Seppi cup. <laughs> Who are the Seppies? The Separatists. Separatists. <laughs> someone left his comlink on. Someone has been listening to everything we said. Hey! Oh, and it's got to be hard to find the traitor because they're all clones. Yeah. <laughs> that opens up a lot of problems, <laughs> having a clone army. I really want to see, like, do they all have completely different personalities? They would have to. Same personality arranged in different ways. Yeah. We've got a big oh, problem. Oh, man. Some of them dye their hair. The only people in here are brothers. Yeah. One of us. Great. But which one? <laughs> okay, is this supposed to be funny? I don't know. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I think it's really funny. <laughs> oh, nice. yeah. Don't shoot. 
just keep their communications jammed. Roger, roger, roger. Roger, roger. <laughs> the guy got his messages out there somehow. Just gotta find them. Mmm. We appear to have picked up some friends. Indeed. In fact, I believe the number of eyes watching us has been steadily growing. Great. <laughs> Perhaps this means our adversary has learned about our mission. Yeah. Perhaps it does. Of course, nobody's <laughs> tried to stop us yet. Also true. <laughs> Which means this is a trap. I imagine it is. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. For them. <laughs> <laughs> Wavelength interference, weak frequencies, spotty, irregular. See, this actor is having to voice all these. I know <laughs> he, he must, his days must be the longest. I'm just picturing him running between like five no. different microphones. <laughs> My guys are the best. No way they're capable of something like this. Something like what? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting to the bottom of this. Now, Django, Django, Django. <laughs> it's like Ken. <laughs> Ken. Yeah, Ken. Ken. <laughs> Ken. Beach Ken. I like that poster. I like the guy with the oh. the two the two beards, <laughs> the two goatees. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to show yeah, their individualism. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder what I would do. I mean, probably bleach it. You know, dye it a cute color. Right. Because I'm very individualistic with, like, my personality and stuff. I just wear a hat. Who's that? Smash. Lightsaber, please. <gasps> Ventress. Smash. Ventress. Here, I thought this mission would be unpleasant. Yeah, oh. Smash. Obi wants to smash, too. He's such a I flirt. You. <laughs> They've been together, you think? What? Well, um, someone told me that the Jedi aren't celibate. They just shouldn't have attachments. So right, I think right, right. Obi Mo Obi Mon like Obi Wan. I'm sorry, son. Has just a little nervous. Fucked. Sorry, but seriously. Yep, freshly scrubbed. Rags over there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't cleaning your weapon have another meaning? Uh, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else in the mess able to confirm what you two are saying? <laughs> Lots of guys there. Ask any of them. Oh, we will. This is me to my remaining brain cells when I forget where I put my keys. <laughs> Medroid was fixing me up. Doc's got all the records there. Who do you think it is? Uh, got reaction? Go. Uh, the, not that guy. I don't know. I. No, you weren't. Decide. I mean, you. That one. If you know something. <laughs> I think it's um, not the bleach haired oh! guy. Not the bleach haired one, but the other one, the main guy. Okay. My loyal informant let me know you were coming. <gasps> well, then, we thank you for your hospitality. Uh, very eager, Anakin. Where were you before you went to the mess, Chopper? Nowhere. Walking around. <laughs> Having a walkabout? Walkabout. <laughs> when the world gives you the finger, yeah? Well, I do. I don't want to walk about. A what? A walk man. Oh. I was hiding. At the south exit. I didn't want anyone to see me string these together. So if the Sith are only ever two at a time, then what does that make? I'm trying to figure that out. I just yeah. want something back. I guess <laughs> I felt like, like they owed me. Oh. I always knew there was something deficient about you. Deficient? But if you could break these rules, your whole character's in question here. Wait, no. Hang on. That one. I think oh. it's the one who was questioning him. Oh. Because I thought it was him when he was like, the calm links or like, I don't know. He just gives sus vibes. Right. But how can we trust anything you say now? Yeah, and he's and turning this, them all yeah. on him. You don't have to say anything till the Jedi come back and talk to you. Maybe you should talk, sir. Tell him where you yeah. went. Yeah. You turn left toward the command center. Where were you going, sir? Obviously, the kid feels cornered. What did you mean till the Jedi come back? Oh, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> I thought it was the one with the scar, I think. Oh, I don't know. I'm I confused. I wish you hadn't noticed that, sir. Oh, okay, no. so. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> give a guess. Nice, Slicks dude. The traitor. Yes, but I knew when he was like cornering him, it was mm -hmm. him. But I, I thought that was one of the main guys. They look the same, so. Right. I mean, they're clones. I yeah. love her outfit. <gasps> Ooh! 
That is, yeah. Hey, don't bring innocent <laughs> yeah. books into this. It's not a book fight. <laughs> That's uh, Slick. Now that he's exposed, <laughs> he has to get out of this base. You have your Slick, we have ours, and there's no one like him. <laughs> Move! Amateur mistake, boys. Got our weapons depot. Ooh. Very slick, slick. He's not trying to escape. He knows all our moves before we even make them. Oh. I guess that's the issue with a clone army. A lot of lot of drawbacks to a clone I'm all army. yours, Obi Wan. <laughs> He's so flirty. Oh, I this. love her. <gasps> her posture, like her. Sitting. <laughs> so hard to know whom to trust these days. What's the plan, Master? Bringing us here was a mistake, my sweet. You've overestimated your abilities. Really? My sweet. I know. Like, I definitely think they've hooked up. Yeah. What is the deal with that? Why do you mean? I just uh, the history there. What is oh, okay. it? Okay. <gasps> oh. You guys stay here. Seal the perimeter. It has to be a joke that they named him Slick. I know you're so hung up on it. It's it's for like grandpas like me, but I like how the sky looks painted. Anakin. Yeah. <gasps> Spider-Man. Prepare to march on the city. Ooh. Have General Loathsum delay the Jedi as long as possible. <laughs> General Loathsome, little on the That's nose there. Me. That's me. <laughs> That's me. That's me. AF. I also think it's it's potentially that they flirt with each other. They know that they're attracted to each other, but they he hasn't gotten with her. Right. Like I think that he just knows how to play the game as well, the flirt game. I mean, and he's... Anakin can't. Oh, he can only do it with Padme. And only one very intensely. Man. Yes. The lockdown. <clears throat> I'll stay here. Get the power back up. That'll help. I like his scar a lot. That's really cool. Hey there, slick. <laughs> Guns <laughs> empty. <laughs> I'm not the traitor. You are! What? Oh. Maybe not serving Whoa. in the interests or something like a clone rebellion. All of you just blindly following orders. Yeah. 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 I bet you sold out your brothers for some real shiny coin. Oh. Oh. But she offered me something more important, something you wouldn't understand: freedom. I mean, <sighs> it's like a valid point well, i mean and that's regularly what you couldn't be a greater disappointment having to do with the emperor offers freedom only a jedi would ask that it's the jedi who keep my brothers enslaved mm. we do your bidding we serve at your whim i just want something more something more i love my brothers you're too blind to see it but i was striking a blow for all clones you betrayed every one of us. Take him to lock up. Just reminds me of Anakin in episode three. Because there are about a thousand battle droids on their way here. The fight goes on, gentlemen. Oh, so that's setting it up for the movie? I guess so. I think it's cool. interesting because, um, like, I almost feel like you need to watch uh this the end of the second movie because you didn't watch it like you've you've seen it before but you right. haven't watched it recently because yoda does go and get those clones and it's like okay the clone army is still working for the jedi yeah and i mean i know that you edited up to the halfway mark and obi-wan is just like so you know unsettled by what he sees there because it's really creepy it's like babies and same guy over and over and they're not continuing the creation of more clones right uh i don't know so, yeah i mean i don't think so but still when yoda did that it was kind of like i was cheering because he brings the clones to 
that final fight. So I feel like it is, I would rather you watch that and like finish editing that before we watch the movie. Okay. There is ethical qualms. Like I have ethical qualms with like a clone army. You just kind of took it for yourself. Like Dooku right. was authorizing it. Right. Then they're still using these clones. And I mean, I think a lot of them, or at least the majority, or I don't know. I feel like they know they're doing the right thing, but they've never been free. And I am curious, do they, do the rest of them feel free? I'm sure they, it's they, just like, they don't. And it's, it's ultimately what, what ends up like order 66. It was like behavior because they all have like behavior chips right and oh. it, that's what like forced them to turn on everyone is like because all the clones have like they're they're programmed to obey because they are programmed even though they're clones there okay. is that like it there is they do take orders and i'm just wondering well i just feel like i what, also want to like watch what the edit you know and yeah. and, and, and like refresh because I, yeah, that's just something I'm interested in. And then also at the end is when Django dies and right. Boba watches him. And um, I would just like to refresh my own timeline because like I would like to know exactly what happened with that behavior chip and then how Yoda got them. Like how would, right. would he just deactivate it or something? Like because he brings them all on a ship or on a yeah, like a flying yeah i mean it's gonna show us how it gets to episode three it's just it's fascinating and what I, what I was saying about that slick he reminded me so much of the same things that anakin was saying in episode three when he was like i want more i know i shouldn't mm. and the clone was like i wanted more i love i'm doing this because i love my brothers this is to free my brothers and anakin was doing the same thing it's like i'm doing this for the galaxy for yeah. my empire to free my empire even so though it they're... seems like an individualistic thing it's actually you know in honor of them basically and you said last time that his enemies that he takes down it's like he takes something from them or he he learns something or uses it and so it's it is true like we're watching him acquire like either a personality trait or like mm -hmm. a little statement or something and how he gets there because that has to like enter his subconscious too and he probably has like qualms with the clone army because yes. there are elements of like you know he was born a slave and it is right. it is a slavery like they're born to fight and 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 indoctrinated and basically turned into eventually Catherine. like the downfall and i'm sure a lot of the galaxy sees them as terrorists or whatever and it's like they they were kind of born into this life and they were they, they were, were created for and that and the, they have half the lifespan cuz the growth is accelerated yeah. and I'm i sure i poked up. i poked fun at it but the fact that they're trying to like show individualism with their hair and stuff like i would absolutely freak out and be very upset you know and it's just it's really hard and i think that he has a point there similar to how anakin had a point and it's to serve the jedis and they didn't want to use the clone army in episode two but then they realized that they kind of had to i'm just like why is it still going like why are you still using i guess because it's really important right now but seven seasons worth of clones I also love that he used the word brothers because yeah. it reminds me of sibling dynamics too. Like, right. It's like the same all, DNA. <laughs> we're all given it, but it presents in, in different ways. And yeah. it's like how you can be born into the same like toxic household, but come away with completely different perspectives. Exactly. And, and be so different. Nature versus nurture. And it, that's why. Yeah. That's why I, I was interested in like how they talk and their different personalities. How different are their personalities? The sad thing is, though, if they really are just serving the Jedi army, if they don't have another choice or if they feel like they don't have another choice um, through the energy and rules that are not even rules, but I'm sure there's like a code and stuff. Yeah. Then you're not giving them the opportunity to have full self-expression because they can't leave. You know, they they can't 
explore even that the questioning of like you can't take things from the battlefield like yeah. i didn't think that was that weird like i knew you were deficient in some way you're not allowed to mess with the the battlefield you know like questioning his character for wanting to remember because probably some of his brothers he's watched some of his brothers die he wanted the parts of the bodies and he didn't want anyone to see and like that i feel like is a great example of how just watched they yeah. are there's certainly rules that just are really strict and yeah i just don't think it's a great life no. I feel like <laughs> for we're, them we're gonna learn a lot yeah. from the clones and it's gonna be very reflective of what's going on in the world today and like understanding those people that are painted as you know less than or, or simply tools or means to an yes. end or evil or because like the droid army is sim there has to be parallels to the clone army they're called clones like they just they are going to be seen as less than and are the jedi complicit in that like do they have some subconscious biases where they just think like those are all the same guy and, and what's what's stopping you know an outside eyes looking at the the Jedi and their clone army is like that's a lot worse than an army of machines. Like you're, yeah, you're, exactly. you're like you're you're completely destroying what it's like the all of the things that make life life by mm -hmm. immediately taking ownership from birth of these people. And yeah. they are people. Like it, just the fact that they have personality shows that they're they're people. There's no such thing as like a perfect clone because yeah everybody's you, no out two outcomes are going to be the same and the original clone Django wanted a son he did not want a replica of him he yeah. wanted one that was younger and smaller that shows the original human sees them as people yep. because the way he treated his son Boba was like he was talking to him like that was his real son yeah and so that proves like if he can recognize this is a separate being from me, this isn't just my clone, that they aren't just half a person. They're not um, replicas, like, you know, like same kind of AI or less than, like they really are humans with souls. Yeah. Um, and the potential to have different natures and personalities and stuff. So like ethically, you can't say, like people can't say, they're less than it's just not true no um and this also reminds me of like an issue of ha i've had with the jedis so far it's like okay you guys didn't authorize this you didn't you didn't make it but then you're just like okay well we'll keep it going you right. know even if i'm sure they stopped the creation of new clones hopefully please but then they're just like we will we'll be using that even though yeah my hands are tied i can't do much it's like eluding the responsibility um which bothers me a little bit and i know it's hard i know i have a lot of empathy and sympathy for them because ultimately especially like yoda maze um that's his name right mace mace yeah they are like really working in the best interests of everyone but then there's also this protectiveness of like the Jedi has to be seen as perfect. They have to be seen as totally good. And then all these rules and restrictions come about. And that's what we saw with Anakin. It's what we saw with the clones. So I think you're exactly right. I think the clones are going to directly relate to Anakin's arc. Uh, and I wonder if if that this is one of the weaknesses that is in episode two, Yoda and Mace reference mm. their weakness in the force. Like our ability to use the force is mm. weakened. Our ability to understand and like understand the will is, and I think it is because the Jedi order has turned to exercising their own will over the force. Yep. And that's kind of what leads to their downfall because yep. the force doesn't allow for a clone army and exerting your own will over the force instead of saying like, okay, let, what is what's the alternative no like this is a solution presented right to us instead of listening to the force like maybe this isn't natural oh. they exerted their own will and that's what led to their downfall and the need for balance in the force Ooh. is removing that like 
like no you guys are not in control we're let's start over it's almost uh, like it's like a it's like a like a like a flood of some sorts almost like, like a reset of nature like a reset yeah and i wonder if that's part of the weakness is there willingness or like to, a forest fire a natural forest fire and their their willingness to like basically out evil their enemy kind of is yeah by enslaving a population of clones yeah because and I, already, clones. I can already predict like the comments we're gonna get maybe not but like of uh, people saying they were in the right they did you know like it, they stumbled upon this what they're using what of what can they do this and Some this and this um shit. Like well, that talk about that. I mean, I just think, you know, also when you think of Django, he was escaping. He just wanted like he literally just wanted to like go away with his kid. And yeah. that, it makes me really sad to think about. Um, and I know they needed him for answers, but like he just wanted to live his life yeah. with his kid. And um, then Boba saw him be murdered, you know, <sighs> But uh, yeah, I can already sense maybe some comments of like, yeah, what what could they have done? They didn't have a choice. And I agree with you guys to an extent. I'm just saying my focus is I'm empathizing with Slick. I'm empathizing with the rest of them because it's it's confusing AF. And I know the Jedi's, they probably don't even have time to consider like, how do we give them the most rights? These are people who take kids away before, when they're impressionable um and train them when like that even that ethically is questionable and it's for the good of the of the galaxy and so i think it's just an example of that and like no one can convince me that the jedi are all good like even the force is not all yeah. good even the force it kind of reminds me of like proto molecule and, and stuff and halo as or well if, like the earth were alive the revenge that and she's the flood right is now. called the flood yeah yeah, it is. The it's forerunners are the references. ancient civilization, and they had kind of like helped create the flood, which is like Noah's Ark. Mm -hmm. And they literally redistributed like um, a man and a woman or like a few of each race. Mm -hmm. You learn that in Halo Legends, like Noah's Ark, like wow. one, two of them, and they put them back on the planets. Um, and so. I just, I like that just really stuck with me what you said about like resetting and Anakin was the chosen one because he was like, the flood that was sent. It, the, 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 he, because he's like, he has the most midichlorians. <gasps> he, and he was a Virgin Mary baby. He had all these horrible things. Whoa. It's like the force sending its son and like ignoring that, he's like putting Jesus. them through so much pain. Or and Noah. then also, but it's also, it's, it's from the point of view of like, okay, yeah, these are choices that, that he's making, but also look, the world did this to him. It's not just his choices. Because like, if you're the force, you're not thinking of good or bad per se. Like that's something I tried to explain to people about the proto molecule and stuff. It's like, it's not, I mean, the flood is pretty evil. It's like parasitic. So I won't use that from Halo. But it's not, it's thinking long term, baby. It's not, mm -hmm. it doesn't even think. It's just the energy, you know, it's just, it's hard to explain, but just similar to Mother Nature and um, forces that are out of our grasp of reality and out of our control. It's not thinking about each individual life. It's not thinking about its intention is not purely good, nor is it evil. There's mm -hmm. the dark side, there's the light side. But it's about balance and balance is arguably the most important thing um and the fact that anakin is the chosen one even more than luke luke is just a byproduct of it's like jesus the didn't know son. that he would inspire both like healers and also people that would murder in his name like there mm. there's balance in 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 all of it and if you're trying to be all good it's not gonna work and i feel like the jedi you know even if it's just appearances like you know feeling like you know what's best and you are the epitome of goodness and trying to show that even though i know they were kind of hidden and stuff and they're trying not to i know i'm just saying like and they didn't know better because it was how many it was a centuries of just jedi and they thought there were no 
uh, I mean, there were a lot side. of they like but they weren't empowered. eliminated yeah the 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 jedi were in power for a long time the yes. old republic was in power for a very so it's long similar time. to what we see now where it's like okay 80 years ago shit was so bad but since we weren't alive like our generation even boomers like we don't we're not gonna think about it we're gonna repeat history it's why history is doomed to repeat yeah. itself it's because we never really complete the grief cycle or the stress cycle mm, or it, it's whoa. it's we refuse to learn it's refusing to acknowledge the balance and the importance of it yeah. of like reconciling the horribleness that has been done Horror, with the lessons yeah. that we've learned from it and like bringing those two things together it doesn't happen it's very like revisionist often. history yeah and it's it's like why we see genocides play out again and again I it's would, why the jedi yeah. order fell again it's why yeah. rome fell and why America. People are arguing that America is on the same path as the Roman I mean, Empire. It's in debt and stuff. And as the Galactic Empire, the Galactic Empire fell in Star yes. Wars. It's like it's it, when you try to take control, absolute control, it is doomed to fail. But then also, if you're neutral, if you're too neutral, bystander effect, yeah. and not actually taking action, because that's the thing I'll always say about Anakin and then now slick. Like, I cannot totally hate them because they at least they're fighting for what's right. Mm -hmm. If this guy truly believes he's enslaved, his brothers are enslaved, can we really fault him all the way? Just say he's an evil person. No, you can't say that. You can be a fan of him or whatever. And I know there's a lot of Boba Fett fans. Oh yeah. And so I can already tell, maybe there's an uprising, maybe this, and if it's like attack of the clones or I, I, that's why i just really want to rewatch because i just want to remember exactly what was said even rewatch episode two on it's my own great episode because, two is great and i felt relief when yoda brought the army yeah. that's the thing that i'm not saying like they shouldn't have touched it because that would have been remaining neutral and it would have been so shitty also jumping off of that like saying like when we say that we we disagree with something or like or like that that's wrong it doesn't even necessarily we're not presenting solutions like i know i'm no. for one i'm really glad that i'm not in the position of having yeah. to make these decisions exactly and you can be critical <laughs> of something without having a solution to it right so like we we can challenge what the choices that we all these characters make mm -hmm. but like putting ourselves in those positions what's to say we wouldn't have made the same choice like we don't we exactly. don't know. No, that's it, the thing. And that's, that's 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 why retrospect. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can. It, it's it's 2020. And when, I, like, yeah. when you're in it, you you don't really know what you would do and what's the right 20, answer. Oh yeah, vision 2020. So I was like, it's 2024, honey. Condemn um, everything. No, exactly. And that's why I don't condemn everything. And it's more of just a dialogue. I I understand that safe feeling of like you know being firm in your position. This is my best you know but i feel like a lot of star wars fans and especially on our patreon they know it's it's a dialogue like yeah even when i was starting to say stuff like well maybe anakin was under compulsion and stuff they were like uh-uh megan like they kind of called me back yeah, in they're... like he he knew what he was doing and they showed us why and how he knew what he was doing and like yeah okay this is a very he's really good when he's good and he's really bad when he's bad and that's the balance. Yep. But it's it's a dialogue, you know, it's not endorsing or condemning anything. Um, there are some issues in real life and also in Star Wars where I feel like it's pretty clear that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> like Palpatine. Yeah. Or, you know, and, and with Yoda, the whole point of that too is just like I felt relief because he was he was taking action and maybe it was just a little too late. Yeah. I think that's with the Jedi's too. Like they had the right intentions, but it almost feels like it's just a little too late because you let it get that bad, yeah. you know, and neutral. And he, Palpatine, took your blindness. And it acknowledges the importance of of progress as well, and and trying new things. Yes, that's that's what yeah. keep, that's what kept the Jedi so. That's what was their Did doom. Is they refused do to new? evolve and to. Yeah, because I don't did. think that I don't think the dark and Siths, he acted quickly. Yes, the Sith, I don't think the Sith, Siths had been in power and had done anything like that. And he was looking to well, a Jedi. Play Kotor first. Wait, so. did they? Do they do 
like the lords or masters look for jedis to turn uh it just but depends. i think it's uniquely for that time period you, because you, yeah you there need were to, only jedi you need to you need to play kotor and, and look into <laughs> okay. the old republic because there's a lot of cool yeah answers there too i miss qui-gon i know i miss qui-gon too he's the best jedi well apparently in the movie well now i really want to watch the movie oh in in uh, all this yeah um because um it, who's Thrawn? we just got a book we ordered some star wars books Thrawn is it takes place after luke's movies Oh, never mind. So, I, sorry, I thought you said you saw him. In I the did. Song I saw. I saw. It was a different. It was okay. like the Bad Batch or okay. Rebels or something. But I saw Thrawn there. He's like the blue-skinned guy yeah. in the white suit. Right. That's really interesting. The fact, like, that you said that that trying something new is good. And I mean, I feel like the Pope has done that. <laughs> sorry, just well, that's why it. I struggle so hard with conservatism because it's yeah, like, it's it's literally it just like apply. we're trying. You're, it's so focused on repeating the past, yeah. but not necessarily. Not there are a lot of things in the past that don't work, and it, and it's afraid yeah. of of things that challenge that. And so that's why I, I don't I don't think conservatism works as mm -hmm. an ideology because it's you're you're just doomed to repeat the same right same pen, things over and over to play devil damage no um no 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 well what i'm saying is like those dialogues are important and that's you remember the scene with um annie and pad what padme where he's like i just i think it should be people in a room talking it out and she's like that's what and it listening. is yeah she's like that's what democracy is and then he's like okay well then we'll just force someone to listen and which she's is, like that's a dictatorship <laughs> which is funny because like in the originals people start to say things he doesn't like and he just like force chokes them and kills them he's like he's like oh so that's they need very to listen different to each other and he's like Annie. he's like nope i'm not listening to you you know why <laughs> too probably because that reminds him like uh annie anakin in darth vader was excited like Oh, we're having a dialogue. This reminds me of Padme. Nope, choke. Bye. <laughs> and yep. the fact that he chokes them when he choked Padme. I know. It's just like it's committing to that. He's like, okay, this, and not letting it come back. The conscience. This the person guilt. killed my past. Yeah. So like, this is who I am now. I'm just not gonna listen to. This. There's. And so... the only person that could break through was literally like, the, um, basically, what he could have been, if. But I don't he, necessarily agree with. Well, not even it's because it's cause it's Luke different. So but different. I do think that Luke is like it's a reflection of of like what he kind of kind of like a similar path. I can see him him and like Anakin under Qui Gon having similar yes. like Luke yeah. reminds me so much of Qui Gon. Okay. And but um anyway. Okay, that's true. I think it'd be interesting to add a love interest for Luke because. I think that could change things. I think because it's so much of what happens with Annie. Yeah. Is because of his attachment and deep love and care for Padme. But also, I think he could act similarly to Obi-Wan. Yeah. If Obi-Wan died in front of him. Yeah. Yeah. It's just he was particularly susceptible to that kind of. No, I'm not going to even say that. No, I'm so sorry I said that. He was groomed. It was not his fault at all. No, it wasn't. Um, it's yeah, just... anyone is susceptible to being groomed by fucking gross ass people. And, like, and the Jedi could have evolved to like find a way to more healthily process attachment, and but they they didn't. They instead of instead yeah. of adapting to Anakin, they tried to force Anakin to adapt to them. It kind of reminds me of like, and I hope you don't take this. But no, I think you'll be fine. Um, it reminds me of like your mama and papa where they're beautiful people. They raised you right. There were things that they let slide within your immediate and extended family in protection of almost like conservatism, the the motto, the family, like a past value. Not completing the cycle. Yes. It's, yeah. Because we need to maintain the integrity of your last name, of your family. We can't you know, it's not, they didn't go out of their way to hide it, but they swept it under the rug. Yeah. Like the evil that popped up. And um, that's that's why it reminds me of Yoda and why I will always love Yoda so much because he's trying his best. He's 400 years old, 800? 
Almost 900. Yeah. So he's like, he's really fucking trying. I love the scene with him and the younglings because um, I noticed this watching the reaction back, but Obi-Wan just goes right back to being a youngling yeah. in that scene. But Master and, Yoda. And like, I'm like, I want to master Yoda. <laughs> and the times that I've talked to Caleb's grandma, I will literally like, I would sit on the floor and just listen to her because it's like, of course, that she's going to have some things that like I I know better about. Yeah. Like she was what, eight in her 80s, like 85, 86. When so she died at 90. She, she died at 93. So, yeah, she was like late 80s and it was just it was always so fun to talk to her, too. And that's yeah. like especially the, I think they got that with Yoda and Luke where he's just like he knows he's done. You know, going on a thousand years, yeah. he knows he's almost done. He wants to go to bed. You just accept it and realize they're doing the best with what they can in the present moment. What and they have. and then they did do the best that they and could. And then Luke was able to do what Yoda couldn't. Like, yeah, it wasn't it? Luke was so rude to Yoda. I know. Too, if you think know. about it, they like, were so rude to each other. It was really cute. Yeah, it's really cute, they're, and that's why you're right. Like Luke is very similar to his dad. I want something. He's more angry too. Than like he's sunset. He gets and and he, they were like, "Your re your dad was too old. You're way too old to be a Jedi." <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, is, Luke's like the <laughs> oldest Jedi in his shit. He's, so, he's true. so old. He was. Yeah, and we were like, "Wait, what? Yoda too old?" Like but 19. Yoda meant that from the bottom of his fucking heart. Like he meant that. He said it with his whole chest. Like, he was like, no. "Too old. I'm not training this one." And it's funny he's that he's used to training. It's like a, a a teacher going from early education, like kindergartners, to be expected to like teach fucking high schoolers or college kids. Yeah. Like that's like, not his expertise. No. <laughs> I, I'm blind here, Obi Wan. Sorry. And I think he was replacing, oh, your friends, your friends with like Padme and stuff. Like you can get, oh, shut up about your fucking friends. He's like, oh, I've seen this go the yeah. wrong way. I have yeah. seen. I I love him. It's it's weird. It's like the more that I realize that I learn about Star Wars, the more I appreciate all of the characters, even Palpatine. What Caleb said about Palpatine is so true. Say what you want about him. He did something fucking different. And he and fucking he acted was quickly. smart. He didn't, he didn't, he, he, he did not give a <laughs> fuck what anybody else wanted. He was yeah. just like, all right, I'm doing this shit. And yeah. that's why the bad people win a lot of the time. That's yeah. why so many bad people are in charge of our government because they acted when the decent people won't. Yes, that's so, true. So like, it's like Trump. Too. And it's like maybe we do need to like pull a Yoda and be like, okay, here's a fucking clone army. We'll yes, exactly, to your level. Exactly. So it's like, what would we do different? I don't know. We don't have the solutions, <laughs> but these are our thoughts. Yeah. And I feel like that's a perfect circle. Yes. We're back. And we took a 20 minute episode and talked so long now For it's 50 longer than the episode. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. Thank you to our tier four patrons for producing the video and all our other YouTube channel members and patrons. Honestly, the Patreon has been such a stable source of income for us. And, and I just, I'm so grateful for the Star Wars community, especially because it has just allowed us to have like a flexible schedule and like do, you know, pursue what we want to pursue and watch what we want to watch and, and also have time to like research and, and yeah and, and, and explore it on our own like i don't know if you can tell but for example with me i'm very interested in this and i think it's because of that freedom and that flexibility to like you know i i'm not researching it caleb is uh, I'll, I'll bring all the, the <laughs> lore i can possibly come to yeah I, i'm just gonna yeah i'll add all of that commentary but no, it, it, it's it's truly like a dream come true. Thank you all for your amazing yeah. support. I'm very and excited to hear what they have to say about this. Same. Yeah, a lot of thoughts were shared and we would love to hear your thoughts. I as know well. there's there's Boba Fett, Django Fett. Like that's their favorite character. I know. We, so. We've got so much to to Similar to, to how, you know, my ca favorite character is still Anakin. I'm not saying he's the best, no. <laughs> most moral character, you know? So I think that's going to be similar for Boba and Django. But Qui Qui-Gon Jinn is officially I my favorite. I love Qui-Gon, but I don't know enough. I, the more I learn about him, yeah. the more I like him. And I'm excited to read Master and Apprentice. Okay, um, anyway. Anyway, take care of one another. Be kind. Uh, and don't forget to say free Palestine. Free Palestine. <laughs>